Alright, so today we're going to learn the mallets on marimba. So the marimba is as low as it'll go, and you're a little short, but it should be around your waist. Um, we're going to explain the grip first. So for this, we're going to just start with the first, with one. So pick this up. This is your stick that you'll use. And since you were in my snare drum video, we can go off that a little bit. So this is similar to the snare drums um, hand position grip, um, but it's just a little bit different. So first we're going to start with the pivot. So on the snare, um, it was where the best balance was found, where it would bounce most. Um, and that could be a couple different spots depending on your stick. With this, you want to go about a third up the stick. So go about a third up the stick. Yep. Now we want to make our fulcrum, which is about the same as the snare drum. So we're going to take our thumb, press it flat against the stick, and then we take our index finger and wrap it around at the same level, no higher, no lower than our thumb, and the stick will sit in the middle of the first joint. Nope. Just a little bit right there. Yeah, perfect. And then now we take our back fingers and we wrap it around. And if you'll remember, our um, back fingers on the snare was really, really loose. Like, essentially you could have taken your back fingers off. Um, for this, we want it a little bit firmer, but still loose enough to where the stick can wiggle. So, a lot firmer than that. Can you see that? Yeah good. Um, now the stick should come out of the heel of the hand, which is this side part of your hand. Now let's pull this up a little. Um, perfect. And our palm, well, let's, before we get to that, let's make the same thing with the other stick. So a third up the stick. Yeah, maybe a little less. That's more half. Yeah. And then we wrap, stick our thumb flat, wrap our index finger around, yep, and it's in the first joint, wrap our fingers around firmer than that, yep, still loose though so that it can move, and then the stick comes out of our hand, yep, out of the heel of our hand. So now, we're going to start on a C and a D, which are these two keys right here, same as piano. So. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to um, make our palms flat to the floor and then we're just going to relax a little. Mm -hmm. Try that again. So flat, relax. No, don't like try to turn out. Just ease up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to do the beads. Our beads, when they come up, they should be together, even when you go one down. They'll always come up and be buddies. But we want to make sure that our wrists are at a right, at the right height for this instrument. So for that, we take our pinkies and we just touch our pinkies to the keys and see at the level that our wrists are at right now. We want to make sure that our wrists stay at that same height. So take your pinky off, palms flat to the floor, relax. Can you touch? You can relax your pinkies, put your finger, yeah. All right, great. Um, so your wrist should always be at that height, and your stick should be about six to eight inches up from the keys at all times, because we have to do the artificial rebound instead of the regular rebound, like on the snare, because the stick will automatically bounce back up on a snare drum. But on this, we don't have that. We have to do it ourselves. So we must move and make sure that we're making the stick come back up to a certain point. Imagine there's like a little ceiling right here that keeps our stick from going up too high. Yeah. So pinky. Yeah, your sticks look a little low. Make sure that they're about six to eight inches up. Put your pinkies back around the sticks. 
Mm -hmm. Six to eight inches, a little higher. So you can bend your wrists a little bit. So, all right, your pinkies are cool, so your wrists are the right height, but you want to make sure that these are together, the beads are together. All right, leave your pinkies alone now. <laughs> so your wrist should be right there, because that's where your pinkies were. Don't move your pinkies. Your beads need to be together at all times. They're buddies. They want to be together. Great job. Your fulcrum still looks nice. You're not too tense. Keep these together. <laughs> it's important that they're together. So, when we do this, we start high. Yep. And we end high. Got it? All right, so now we're going to do the full stroke on uh, 60 beats per minute. And I'll show you how to do that first, and then you can do it. So, this is just be natural, and we're going to do eight of these. Yeah, so if you noticed, I messed up a little bit. So we're going to want to make sure to keep the heads together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. Can you do that? So on your right hand, on the D natural. So ready? Let's do it together. One, two, three. Now let's do the C. I'm going to do the C first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you do that? One, two, ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job. So now, you just want to keep in mind that the mallet is just falling and you're going to return it back to its normal height. So fall, return, fall, return, fall, return. Yeah? All right, so now we're going to do alternating strokes, which is at 80. Oh, I'm sorry, at 60 still. So that was the same tempo as before. So I'm going to try it first, and then I'll let you try it. So, Yeah? All right, so one, two, ready, go. So keep it high. Make sure that your wrists are coming up back to six to eight inches. Go ahead. Try it again and keep your beads together when you do it. One, two, three. Keep your pinkies in. Keep going. Keep them high. You're getting lower as you go. Make sure to keep your wrist up. I know. Alright, great job. So, we're going to continue and we're going to move it up to 80. And I'll let you do the same thing. So I'll do it. I'll do it a couple of times. So. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Did you pull them in? Good job. All right. One more time. Awesome job. All right, thank you so much for learning the mallets with me. You did a great job, and we'll keep working on this in the future so that you can make sure to keep your wrists in the proper position because I think that was your biggest problem and your pinkies. But we'll work that. All right, thank you.